Hi guys, your friend Stephen Mendes here with another FA06 video. This afternoon we are looking at the SD cards and the video is divided into three sections. One just shows us how to stick a blank FD card into the machine and format it. The other one examines the memory card contents and identifies the file organization, what files are stored there and what kind of files are used. And the last section goes deep into the format of these files and examines the file, files themselves. That's really for advanced computer people who wish to modify the files manually. The first thing we need to do after we put in our blank new flash card and turn the machine on is to format the card for use in the machine. Now what we do is we press the menu key and we go to the utility menu. Hopefully you can see the utility menu there and we select the utility menu and uh, over here down at the bottom we see we have format SD card and we select that and of course it lets us know that all data is going to be erased but that's not a problem we are quite sure because there's no data on the card anyhow so we press OK and it takes a little while and then gum it says format complete take it out of the machine now and look at it in the computer be sure to turn off your FA06 before removing the card hi guys now we can see here that we have you're seeing my screen we have the FA um, card here and when we click on it we see that we have two folders, import and Roland. What happened when we formatted the card in the new card inside of our keyboard is that it formatted it as FAT32 and it created the directory structure and it named the card FA. It created an empty import folder as you can see there's nothing in there this folder is empty and it created the Roland folder and inside of the Roland folder we have the FA folder and inside of the FA we have backup screensaver and song the backup directory is empty the screensaver is empty and the song is empty we would have to put stuff into the import folder such as WAV files or MIDI files in order to import them into the keyboard so the keyboard puts nothing into the input folder we have to do that on the computer but the keyboard creates files in the backup and song folder we have to put something into the screensaver if we want a screensaver 001 bin so I can cut copy or paste that I can copy that onto my card into the screensaver folder just paste it in there and now 001 bin which came with the factory card if I stick this card back into my Roland I have a screensaver now we're going to go and take a, a look at what goes into the backup and what goes into the song folder um, after you have created some songs and uh, done some backups really only four types of files used in your FA06 SVD files SVQ files, BIN files, which are binary files, and SMP files. And we're going to look at the use of all of those. The instant you make backups, you're going to get two files for every backup. You're going to get an SVD and a BIN file. So here, FA1 was my first backup. FA2 was my second backup. 
months later and FA32 was my, I just named it 32 because I couldn't remember if it was three or two. So basically I made three backups from my keyboard at three different times. And uh, each time I made a backup, I got a binary file and a data file. When you save songs, here we go. The first thing that it's going to do inside of the song directory is create another directory 1 to 100. Now, you can save up to a thousand, nearly a thousand songs in your in your FAO 6. So as it goes past 100, it creates another one from 100 and, and um, 101 to 200. Here you see we have 1 to 100 and we have 101 to 200. So in this, in this particular card, I had saved from, from song 1 all the way down to song 120. Let's, let's open it and see. Well, 121. So if I go on saving 121, 122, 123, these numbers will go on till I reach 200, and then the system will create another thing, another directory from 201 to 300. So basically, your your thousand songs that are listed there in the uh, in the keyboard will be saved in groups of a hundred. Now, if this song is just MIDI data with no pads, then the only thing that's going to be inside these directories is the song itself. And it's they're all going to be named song SVQ. Each directory will have one file named song SVQ. Now, if you have... The, a song that has in samples, that is the audio samples that you have stored under the pads, then you're going to get another, you see the ones there that have the arrows? These are the ones that have the samples. It will create underneath that particular song an SMPL directory. And when you go there, look, we have the pads as SMP files, .SMP extension. And this is numbered by the bank and number of the pad. Remember, we have 16 pads on the FAO6, so we have 16 in bank 1, 16 in bank 2, 16 in bank 3, and so forth. So you get bank, here we go, bank 3, 1 to 16. So I max it out. So you, these are essentially audio files. Notice that song 6 only has one sample in its directory and it, it saves the pad configuration as a bin file so automatically when you save your first sample you're going to get a pad configuration bin file this svd file here contains all the user patches in your entire keyboard now when we do an svd file on say the gaia the roland gaia synthesizer that only contains that only the, the Gaia synthesizer only contains um, maybe just eight patches. And here we have a program called Ultra Edit, and this is a fantastic editor. It can edit any program at all on the computer. And we select one of the SVD files. It opens it in hexadecimal as well as ASCII code. So these are hexadecimal characters or binary, and we can actually alter them. We can actually change the file byte by byte, and this will work for any file on the computer. Who knows, when I retire from the university, I may be able to create all these nifty things for you. And, of course, it won't be free. You'll have to give me some money on Patreon or something or the other. But we'll be able to um, create all sorts of programs and special things for these instruments that you love. So thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you soon again.